In this video I'm going to be going over my initial attempts at 3D printing using the Elegoo Mars Pro resin printer. To start with I needed to learn a little bit of basic 3D software. Uh, this one's called Chitu Box. It's going to basically allow me to prepare my model for 3D printing. Normally you'd start off by printing this 3D rook. I ended up going straight to another file that was provided on the USB stick that was supplied with the printer. Uh, this one was a little lion character. I played around with the software trying to get used to some of the basic features, doing things like duplicating, hollowing out models, trying different print settings. It seemed like there was a little bit more to the printing than your typical inkjet printer. I learned that every 3D print needs a scaffolding of supports around it to make sure that it prints properly. After the file was prepped, the line was ready to be printed. It would then be about 3 or 4 hours to print just a small 2 inch long lion figure. And the final result was a puddle. So I thought if I used just a few supports then it wouldn't potentially mark the figure, but too few and that's what you get. My next attempt actually had a body, but no legs. And the final attempt not only had a body, but it had its legs and also a base it was standing on, but it didn't have a tail. I ended up upgrading the Chisu Box software to the latest version. I realised in part that that was what was giving me such poor results, turning things into melted puddles or dismembered bodies. I'd also spend a little bit more time adding extra supports to the files that I would download. And I wanted to attempt to figure with multiple parts, so I've got this Grey Fox Metal Gear Solid Ninja guy. And his head, torso and legs are separate. He also came with a sword initially, but because the model was so small, it kind of broke in the process. So with the whole 3D print thing, there's quite a bit to learn and there's a lot of failures to deal with. I think that's kind of part and parcel of doing any kind of 3D printing generally. With my newfound knowledge, I went on to successfully print a 3D Chocobo. This time it was more of an experiment in size and seeing how big I could actually get the print to print out at on the build plate. After the print comes out the printer, it's a case of removing all the supports. I then clean it in the Mercury Plus wash station that I have. And then finally cure it to make sure it's solid and firm, ready for potential painting. This one came out pretty good. There was a little bit of a banding issue which I think might be related to the weight of the print being sort of pulled down on the build plate and hopefully that should be something I should be able to fix with a little bit of sanding. All these are just first attempts at printing so I'm not expecting perfection. Although I'm getting pretty close so it's starting to get quite exciting now. So let me know what you think of the 3D printing. Is that something you've tried before? Is it something you'd like to try? Do you have any tips to avoid potential print failures? And next time I'll be going through the part of the process I'm looking forward to the most, which is painting the models.